Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022. This is Japan K1 Super Bantamweight World Championship Tournament at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. This is the, the last of the quarterfinals mm -hmm. uh, of the Super Bantamweight between Junki Sasaki and Sho Uchida. Junki uh, Sasaki coming up from <gasps> Bantam into the Super Bantam. He's Weight undefeated. Class, undefeated. Six wins, one knockout. And also he is a former boxing champion. Right. Almost a champion. So coming from boxing background, he's into the K1 these days. Six wins, one KO. Impressive. And apparently he's southpaw. Yep. Shouchida. Was the best known as the Red Hawk. Comes from the karate uh, background when he was younger. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Karate. Oh, yes. I don't know how. We'll see what. Uh... Oh, some interesting moves there. Yeah. Sneaky, huh? Start up from the high school, came out of high school, Koshi and tournaments into crush. And then he was with Sasaki in the ring. The super bad weight. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Right. Okay. Nice approach there. And from Uchida. That was a big shot. Actually, Shaw seems to be very confident even fighting the South Pole. Sometimes it can be a little bit awkward, but it doesn't seem like he feels it's awkward. No. The winner of this gets to fight Kumura after this. Seems to be plenty happening for a round one. What do you, what do you think? What are you seeing? They're just kind of sussing each other out here. Mm. There's not really like someone trying to like, like super knock anyone out here or anything. Good. That was actually sneaky. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm wondering a little bit about what's going on with uh, uh, Uchida's back. Right. Uh, it is like a dark spot on between his shoulder blades. I wonder if that's an old tattoo that he's covered up. Ah, okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> right? Could well, be. Yeah, could be. Oh, there's Mark. Yeah. Okay, so well, that was round one. Like you said, not a lot happening, but so they're checking out each, each other between uh, Juki Sasaki and Sho Uchida. So Sho Uchida is actually from Miyagi, which is up north in the, uh, of Tokyo. Right. Could, could it, if it, if that could have been a down, if it, uh, by any chance? No. No. I don't think so. I wonder what the strategy is to go out into the second round. Mm, see, that was a smart kick. Mm. That's what you want to do against the south pole. You know, take that front leg out. Ooh. Was a sneaky shot there. But there you go. Now we're talking. There we go. Second <laughs> round. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> the gas here in round two. 
I can hear the corner guys telling him to go to move around. Right, around. yeah. I was like, he's not doing it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it just you that which was in the corner there. So. Yeah. Oh, see? Right. Dangerous. That's what the, the scary thing about fighting a southpaw is. That, oh my god! Oh, oops. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh. <laughs> what just happened there? We want to see that one in slow mo. Okay. There you go. There you go. Straight down the middle. Yes. Do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Is he bleeding? Maybe it just above the eye or I don't know. It's a little red there. No. See, oh, he kicked him on the front leg there, and he, he forced him to switch. He should do it again. Ten seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, ten seconds. I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah, there's actually there's a lot that can happen in those ten seconds. It could be, it could be enough to do anything, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, people get knocked out in those ten seconds sometimes. So what do we see in, in round two? I mean, it was um, and and we might see some of the replay of that because it was a lot of fast action there. Yeah, no, there was like a, a I'm not quite sure exactly what happened. He went so fast. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, and it was like or or finished them like it. Here we go. Here we go. This might be it. Yeah. Okay, so flaw oh, man. Okay, okay, oh, he almost had him. Back. Wow. Like he almost had him with that. Look at that. That's just so dangerous. Could have been a disaster, yeah. That could have been a down, yeah, actually. Yeah. And a nice try from uh, Shou Uchida there. It's round three. Round three, Taito! and Shou Uchida. Yeah, I would expect this round could be more aggressive than the other two rounds. Mm. Simply because they know that no, none of them is actually winning at this point. Right. So I like the pressure that uh, Junki is putting on uh, Shaw here. Ooh, okay. I wonder if that technique would actually work. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of uh, speed going into it. He wants to try something that almost yeah. like oh, before. this is good, this is yeah. good. There's that sneaky boxing <laughs> techniques there where he's like tying him up. That was actually really cool. But this is what we want to look for. Wee, wee. There we go. Oh, oh. okay. No, no, no. no. 
Halfway there, halfway. So Uchi got quite a bit of hits there from from Sasaki. Did he did, was he able to avoid some of them, or you said he kind of went for one of them? Ah, uh, well, he kind of landed one, but I mean, it's not enough to do anything specific. Right? Yeah. Uh, but he's actually slipping most of them, like that one there for that. Like, he gets right. slipping, but that was a scary thing. Man, 20 seconds. Anything could happen here. Here we go. Oh, but that was a nice punch there. Okay, so those first sort of. Well, it wasn't really a down, but you know, that, that sort of went by Uchida um, yes. to his opponent. That, that, they don't, that's not counted in, the, in round no. one or two, right? I think yeah. it's a draw. で、now, oh I think Uchida has an advantage. Okay, and why is that, Nick? Just because he's going to be more aggressive. And mm. I don't know, there's just something about this. I think it's a Junki's uh, background as a boxer that makes him fight the way he does. Ah, uh, yeah. And I think that in this next round, it's going to be... Um, yeah, I just think it's going to come down to who's the more aggressive. Mm. They're getting a, a full, hold more, one more minute break here. Yeah, be, before the next round. So it's probably about two, maybe three minutes break, actually. That's a lot. Mm. But that's good for it before you want to go into an extra round? Like, yeah. Well, absolutely. The more break you get, the better. <laughs> <laughs> True. Actually, for anyone, yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure no one's complaining here. <laughs> but, yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, I liked some of the offensive that Uchido was doing. And uh, not that Sasaki wasn't doing a, a, a bad fight. So there's some nice combinations that you might see some of that. We go very shortly into this extra round between Junki Sasaki and Sho Uchida. Mm. Let's see what happens here. We Junki is kind of leading the fight here. For the first 30 seconds for sure. We're going to break it. A nice roll there from Uchida, but nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah, don't get me started on that. Thing. <laughs> don't ask me. Okay, we won't. Maybe, maybe on your YouTube channel one day. Yeah. Hmm. We need someone to really take control of this fight. Yes. Otherwise, Duke is going to walk away with it just like that. You see, you can't wait for the fight to happen. You have to make it happen by yourself. This is like, you forget about the first two rounds because it's all in coming down to this last few minutes here. Brand new fight. something spectacular in the last 10 seconds, then he's going to lose the fight. See, too slow, he should have started that two minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> and done. This is the like a fight for sure. As you often say, that last extra round, it's they got you got to prove themselves. Prove himself. Um, right from the beginning. You have to go out there to win. Mm. And I wasn't, I wasn't seeing that, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, what the judge says. Yes, judge. 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 And, 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 and you know, when Sho goes home and he watches this fight again, yeah. he's gonna go, damn it. <laughs> yeah. No, because if he watches yeah. that fight and yeah. he sees what he did in the yeah. last round, he'll know what he did wrong. Mm. He didn't do it like he didn't do it aggressive enough. Yeah. Sasaki won this fight easily. He actually did something. Yeah. Yeah, but he, it wasn't like you know. Anyway, long story short, we'll see more of that there. Thanks all for watching. This was the K1 World Cup 332, and the winner there was Juki Sasaki, and Russell Wills, and Nicholas Pettis. <laughs> <laughs>